So if you've participated in any of my live write-ins recently, or you've watched a couple of particular recent videos, you know what this is. And it, it is big. It's a million words big. That's right. Starting this September 1st, I will be attempting Millwordy. What? Millwordy. A million words written in a year. Why? Because it's a challenge. And y'all know I love challenges, but mostly I'm hoping that it will keep me accountable to tracking. Which I've already set up my very fun spreadsheet and I will get to that in a bit. More technically, how? I'm counting all of my words. Creative nonfiction words, including freelance and my personal essays, draft words, especially with Meridian Maps number four and five, and any of my new short stories or things that I get done on my Write Anything days, revision words, rewritten words, spoken audiobook words. The list possibly goes on. In this recent video, here, I tested out if I could even do this challenge. One million words in a year is 83,333 words per month. So basically more than even a NaNoWriMo every single month of the year. That also means 2,740 words per day or 3,831 words per workday as specified by the number of workdays by the US government in 2019. So basically just like a few holidays and weekends off. I only did the vlog for a day, but I actually kept track the next two days. So three days in total during the week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And the day of the vlog, I managed to get 4,934 words, easily surpassing my personal 3,831 word goal because I want to take weekends off. I want to have a couple holidays where I don't write. I'm trying to get better at that and I want my Millwordy here. I want my Millwordy challenge to also be reflective of that personal challenge too. They're both, they're both ways I'm trying to challenge myself. So not trying to push anything, just see how that went the next day, not the vlog day. I only got 1,556 words because I both fully edited a video and posted that video. And then the day after I hit 3,951 words, just barely over my new daily goal for Millwordy. So on average for those three days, I got 3,480 words, which does fall short, meaning that this will truly be a challenge. But one that I am so freaking pumped for. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> because even if I don't actually hit Millwordy, though I'ma try my damnedest, I will be tracking regularly with one standard metric, the words, across all different genres, types of work, and the writing stages, which really just means, you know, endless possibilities for stats. Ooh, and all the fun graphs I can make at the end. I'm excited. When, like I said, I'm starting mine this September 1st, 2020 and going until August 31st, 2021, which I simultaneously want it, you know, 2021 to speed up, but also it doesn't sound like a real year. So a bit of a conundrum. Who? Me and you, potentially, if you want. No pressure. I know Devesha from Great Bry is participating in her own version of this challenge with me. And Zara Hoffman also told me that she will try this out if I'm doing it. So like, I also got a bunch of comments as I've been mentioning it here and there that y'all want to try it too. So like, Yes. Join me if you want. Pick your own start date. Choose to do 500,000 instead of 1 million. I'm here for you. And if you would like to humor me and potentially participate in some group stats, I will leave a Google form down below that you could fill out so that I can play around with some stuff and or you can hear from me each month and we can all update each other. Yeah, I'm playing around with some things. I think it would be fun. Finally, let me show you the little spreadsheet that I have been working on. This will look more impressive once you know there's actually stats there and I can make a bunch of graphics but still a whole workbook for my mill wordy challenge. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. This is my second cappuccino of the day in case that was not clear. So first things first, we have the months of my challenge listed in rainbow order down below. And for each month, I have the day of the week, the date, obviously. And then for four projects in a day, which I can't imagine that I would do more than that, but worst case, I can just add some columns. I have a space for the project title, the category, with a drop down listing creative nonfiction. If it's a novel, novella, short story, I'm thinking of adding categories because Maybe if I start doing a blog or a newsletter or anything like that, though arguably I could list those under creative nonfiction. So I'm just gonna play around with this a little bit more as I figure out exactly what what projects I'll be working on. <laughs> then I'll have the number of words that I'll list and the stage, whether that's drafting, revising, rewriting, rereading, and editing. And then of course, at some point I'll have to do like audiobook narration, but you get my point. I am very excited. I've seen other people do Mill Wordy as an association with like NaNoWriMo. It used to be really big on the old forums and they were doing just drafting, but 
as I make clear in my other videos in this one, I, I'm not doing that. I just want to do a million words and yeah, cover a million words in all their various stages until they're you know, out in the universe for other people to read. So I think that's gonna be it for me. Please do comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to participate in this with me. Let me know if you've ever participated in a year long writing challenge before. If you do track your words, let me know what kind of, what kind of stats do you track? And also let me know if you have a favorite month long Instagram challenge for writing related stuff or book related stuff. I've been wanting to try one and I just, you know, I never know which one to try until it's like day three of the challenge and I'm just like, oh no. So yeah. <laughs> but that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you especially to some of my new patrons this month for supporting me in all of my crazy endeavors. <laughs> Anastasia Knock, Nicole Elizabeth, Kay Edwards, Lynn Lee, JLC, and Caitlin Rader. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is crazy, but I'm so excited. Mm. I was trying to be dramatic and finish that with one goal, but yeah, I did not succeed. <laughs>